Hey guys, it's Micah and today I'll be telling you about the Utility in Ableton Live. Utility is this small audio effect over here and it can perform some very useful tasks, especially in combination with other devices. Now playing my sample, I've got a mute button over here, which mutes incoming audio. My DC switch filters out DC offsets and extremely low frequencies that are far beyond the audible range, so it's not really going to do anything to the audio I've got playing now. It will only have a sonic effect if a signal contains these really low frequencies and is processed after utility with non-linear effects such as compressors or wave shapers. Then the gain control adjusts the level of the input signal. You can go up to plus or minus 35 dB. Then you've got your channel mode chooser and this allows selective processing of the left and right channels of the sample. If for example left is selected, the right channel is ignored and the left channel appears on both outputs and it sounds very mono at the moment. The stereo width has been lost. This is especially useful if you have a stereo field that contains different information on both channels but you only want to use one. You can also swap the channels or leave it on stereo. Then you've got the panorama chooser and this pans the signal anywhere in the stereo field. So you can say only have the right material and then move it back to the right. Then you've got your width control and width control acts as a continuous mono to stereo controller when set from 0 to 100%. Now if you're on left or right then width is grayed out. You need to be on stereo or swap and then you can change the width. At 200% the output contains only the difference between the left and the right channels. So don't think that 200% is wider. It's not. <laughs> because between 100% and 200% the output starts to fold in on itself. At the bottom of the device you will find two phase controls, one for each channel, L and R. As their names imply, they invert the phase of each channel. And that's the utility audio effect. These controls are really useful. Sometimes you do want to mute something inside your device chain without muting the whole audio track. Or you just want to change the width a bit. If you have DC offset or low frequencies, then I do recommend you also keep the utility in mind. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon in the next one.